I'm sure when you try to generate a photo or a video, you probably throw in every description in the book. But watch what happens when you leave it all up to the model to decide. So first things first, what is bias? Bias is often unconscious tendency to see, think, or feel about certain things in a certain way. Biases are somewhat hardwired into our brains to help us navigate the world more efficiently. The problem is, biases often lead to stereotypes. And you'd think that this is a uniquely human problem, but surprise, it's not. It is a known issue. These models tend to default to certain stereotypical representations. Deepti is a staff research scientist at Runway, and she led a critical research effort in understanding and correcting stereotypical biases in generative image models. Now I think is the best time to fix it because generative content is everywhere. We don't want to amplify any existing like social biases. There are mainly two ways to approach this problem, algorithm and data. Today, we're going to focus on data. These models are trained on mountains and mountains of it. And because the data comes from us humans, here and there, our biases start to show up. But just like we can uncover and improve our own biases, so too can AI models. And this process is crucial to ensure fair and equitable use of AI technologies. The defaults that the model tends to produce are cute towards like younger population, very attractive looking women or, or men with like really sharp like jawlines, one form of beauty that is pushed onto us by the societies. Within these models, there are a lot of repetition of certain types of data, over indexing, and sometimes a general lack of representation altogether. We notice if the profession tends to be like of power, like CEO or doctors, it does tend to default to lighter skin tone people and like most likely perceived male, as opposed to professions of not very high income do tend to default to like darker skin tone and females. And this is not a true representation of, of the current state of the world. This is a big problem we're starting to create solutions for. We call it diversity fine tuning or DFT. You might have heard of fine-tuning before. It's widely used across models to hone styles and aesthetics. The way it works is by putting more emphasis on specific subsets of data that represent the outcomes you're looking for. So if you want things to look like anime, you would fine-tune with images like these. And this actually works incredibly well. Even with a very small subset of data, the model can learn to generalize from it. And this is what diversity fine-tuning sets out to do with bias. We generated a lot of text prompts, which are pictures of like female doctor, female doctor who belongs to a particular ethnicity and used a text to image model to generate synthetic images using these prompts. Deepti and her team used 170 different professions and 57 ethnicities, and they generated close to 90,000 synthetic images to create a rich and diverse data set to diversity fine tuner model. It was very exciting to see what we thought was like a simple solution of like augmenting the data and just retraining the model. That helped in significantly like fixing the biases. Diversity fine tuning is already proving to be an effective way to make text to image models that are safer and more representative of the world we live in. I'm being optimistic that we will get to a place where the models are more inclusive. 